I just came back from the park and I think I was being followed. It was really, really scary. I'm walking Rolo in the park. So this park is like, there's a central loop and then there's like an outer loop that kind of like zigzags and it's like foresty looking at some points and some points it's like super open. So usually dog owners take the outer loop because it's longer, the walk. And so I'm walking on this outer loop. Hold on a second, that's a big piece of fat that I don't want. And I turn around to look at where Rolo is and I notice that there's a guy there on his own walking hoodie gray joggers youngish like maybe like in his 20s so i turn around and notice him rollo's like sniffing the bushes taking forever and then we come out and then my neighbor walks past with his dogs so me and him started talking right so because we were talking the guy behind me obviously walked past me so he walks past me and I continue talking to my neighbour. Once we finish talking, I continue my route, right? Now we continue this way. Then I see him fiddling with his like shoe at the crossroads, right? So you get to a certain path and you can either go that way, that way or that way. But he stood there fixing his shoe. So I walked around him and I continued my loop. So I'm continuing the big loop and I look behind me again at one point and I see him. I'm like... I don't know, I just thought that was like my instinct at that point was to put the leash on Rolo and pretend to exit. So there's like a side exit that I don't usually take because that's not my exit. So I left the park and I just stood there, right? By me leaving the park, he can only continue his loop. He'll either come out and look like a freak or he continues the loop. So I stand there at the entrance pretending to be on my phone. And then, I'm like looking over the gate to see if he's like walking, continuing the path and he turns around and I'm like, why is he turning around? So I wait there. I give it like five to 10 minutes. By that time, he should be on the like quarter way around the loop. So. Five minutes pass, 10 minutes. And I go in but I don't continue that way, I go backwards, right? So I avoid him. So because there's a middle loop, I decide to go into the middle bit where it's a bit more open. So I go to the middle loop. So imagine the outer loop and then the inner side. I left the exit here, so he's continuing to walk, right? So when I come back in and I go to the middle loop, he must have still been about here, like walking, right? So I exit and he's walking, 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 like he's up there now. So I go back in, I can see him like at the edge now, the far edge, right? Where you would exit. And he's turning around for no reason. He's turned around, he spots me. And then he, you know when someone double takes and then he looks again. So I was like, okay. Luckily I saw my dog friends in the middle so i go straight over to them and i just talk to them right and then i keep my eye on him in the corner right so me and my friends are talking and i'm like seeing if he's gonna exit the park because this guy's done an outer loop on his own for what reason and it's raining instead of him going out the exit he goes this way stands under a tree and looks directly at me so he's standing there like this looking at me so i'm like I told the girls, I was like, there's a really weird man over there that I think is following me. And um, he was watching for about 10 minutes and then he left. I genuinely think that after I had saw my neighbour, you know, the first time and he pretended to do his shoe, he did that so that because he was at a crossroads and there was three options to take. So he waited there to see which one I was gonna take. Really scary, really, really scary. Honestly, 
like men are just so like desperate to just i don't know pounce on people this is really really good by the way that's fat i don't want that that's ligament i don't want that mm. Mm. Yorkshire pudding. oh my god mm. Take all the meat off that. Mm. Now I'm going to be quite scared going to that park. First it's those old men. Do you remember that old man story? And now it's this weird freak. It's like the daytime. This has been a good lunch. Oh, it's nine and a half minutes. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a good lunch. Stay safe out there, girls. I'm working from home, but I'll speak to you for dinner. Peace.